Fest taking over downtown Norfolk this weekend. Right now, people are enjoying music, playing some games, exploring some tall ships. Vessels from around the world sailed into Norfolk today for the parade of sail, and it's not too late to check out all those amazing ships out there. That's right. Nicole Livis is live in Town Point Park for us tonight. Nicole, what's going on now? Well, Philip and Dana, folks are coming out. You know, I thought maybe it was going to rain for a bit, but it's not. And you are hearing the sounds of Kendall Street Company out of Charlottesville. They sound good tonight. Lots to do and see here. Eat, shop, drink. Just check out the beautiful scene along the, the Elizabeth River here at Town Point Park. And you mentioned the ships. You know, this event is free to everyone. And you, you're able to check out some of the ships while you're here. But our Alex Littlehales, well, he got a really, truly first-hand look at a ship during the parade of sail. Take a look. It's kind of hidden. It's a new day on the deck for Howard Kinnair. Every day for him is another day to try something new. Seems like a really simple sort of thing, but if we lose this pin, then we can't attach the gangway to the boat. The way I look at it is I like to see sort of little Easter eggs planted around the boat. Heave ho! Being a part of the crew of the schooner Virginia is no walk in the park. We found that out firsthand. Back, drive it towards the pin. Back, drive! But there is something about preserving the past of this historic relic that makes the hard work worth it. So the history of this boat is like very unique in that like she's one of the only boats here that really represents that early kind of 20th century uh, kind of boat style. It's Michael Fiorentino's first time leading this ship for a Harbor Fest celebration, showing festival goers the beauty of tall ships like the schooner Virginia, which saw action in the First World War. Talking to the volunteers about this, like this is their time to shine, right? This is their time to present their vessel. The original sank in the mid-1920s, but its remodel is kept in top shape by the schooner's crew, who say the work will always be worth it, no matter how tiring. Spent hundreds of hours re-rigging the boat to get it back in pretty much its original condition. I'm still learning, actually. In Norfolk, Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now.